What's happening guys? It's your buddy Grizz and Merry Christmas! Well, Christmas actually was yesterday, but it's Boxing Day, so, you know, close enough. Merry Christmas everyone! And I uh, thought I'd give you guys a late little Christmas gift here. Uh, it's not really that that big or it's, it's nothing, nothing anything too special, but uh, I'm gonna give you the gift of music. The gift of new music, hopefully. Hopefully new music that you have never heard before. Yes! Welcome to Grizzno's Record Shop number three. And today, I'm gonna talk about one of my favorite, favorite bands of pretty much all time, I guess. Uh, very not that well-known band, at least as far as my experience has gone. Every time I've ever asked anybody if they've heard of this band, they've said no. So. Hopefully it's new to you guys too, and this band is known as Ocean Size. And just so you're not too bored, uh, we're watching some uh, a round of Search and Destroy on, I think this is called Retreat. The map is called Retreat, and I love this map for Search and Destroy. I usually end up doing pretty well for myself on it. And this game in particular was just really awesome because uh, it was very close came down to overtime and uh, we were able to pull out the win but uh, I'll let you guys see how it all rolls out I skip a couple um, rounds where I didn't get any kills and I just died and stuff but and also this spot man with a sniper or I guess in this case I was using the uh, crossbow but with a sniper rifle this spot right here for search and destroy is deadly most people will run across um, on the if they're attacking most people will run across that open field there and you can usually you usually pick someone off with a sniper rifle pretty easily for first blood so there's a little search and destroy tip for you guys on retreat but yeah let's talk about some music shall we and let's talk about ocean size so like I said, Ocean Size have long, well not long been, but for quite a few years been one of my f absolute favorite bands, and like I said, they're not really that well known, so hopefully this will uh, open your eyes to a really awesome band that you've never heard before, and hopefully you guys will like it. They're, uh, they're quite different, they, well I guess they were quite different, uh, unfortunately they're no longer a band. Um, they broke up in 2011, I believe. Started in 98, went to 2011. So they were like a 12 year, 12 year career and they put out some really great music during that time. So at least they, you know, you know, they might not be a band anymore, but at least they left us with some really awesome music. So they were a band from Manchester. Uh, like I said, originally formed in 1998 and uh, they released four studio albums in addition to a number of minor EPs and singles. They can be loosely, okay, I'm gonna tell you guys what they sound like or what, what genre they would be, but really there's no one genre that they fit into. Uh, they, they're, they're often categorized as progressive rock, post-rock, alternative rock, uh, new prog, space rock, experimental rock, like many, many different kinds of genres, basically. And I got Ninja Diffused there. I totally didn't see that guy. But uh, yeah, many, many different genres. But basically, they're kind of like a progressive experimental rock outfit. But don't be scared because the vocals aren't scary. Uh, <laughs> there's not too much... Uh, you know, they're not like, and look at that, boom, for first blood, that was sweet. Um, yeah, they're not scary, they're not uh, overly heavy or screamy or anything, they're very melodic and and just, you guys are gonna have to check them out, like, they're, they're really, really great, uh, the music is beautiful, uh, melodic, and at the same time it can be intense and heavy too so that's one thing I really really like about Ocean Size is that uh, they're able to sort of traverse that line between melodic and heavy that I, I and I just love bands who can do it really well they're definitely one of them another really wonderful thing about Ocean Size that uh, I definitely love and I respect so so much is they're really good or their masters at 
time signatures and tempo changes. And I, I love to call this time signature trickery. Their, uh, their ability to go from, and this might get, be getting a little too technical for you guys, but go from like say a, a 9-11 time signature to an 11-9, or nothing, sorry, uh, like a, what is it? 11-8 signature to like uh, an, a 13-8 signature. And I don't know if you guys get what I mean, but it basically it, it, they they could be playing in one time signature with five beats in a measure, and then all of a sudden they're playing eight beats in a measure just out of the blue, and you don't understand how they were able to pull that off. But they do, and they do it wonderfully. So if you guys... Uh, I, I know you may not be like as technically into music like the technical side of music as I am being a guitar player myself but um, I think you'll you'll find that Ocean Size is very very innovative as far as like I mean you listen to like a, a pop song or like a Foo Fighters song you know and they all they all generally follow the same time signatures you can you can tap your you know you can tap your foot four times in a measure every time but uh, it's definitely not like that with Ocean Sides. They'll uh, they'll trick you and they'll show you some some pretty unexpected tempo changes. <laughs> I, I don't really know how to explain it any better than that. But hopefully you guys uh, at least get an idea of what, I, or at least have an idea of what I'm trying to say. And if not, then just go listen and you'll know what I mean. You'll know what I mean within two seconds or two minutes of the first song. It's just. It seems like they're all over the place, but they're really not. It's like it's like controlled chaos, I call it. So like I mentioned before, Ocean Size put out four studio albums over its 12-year career. Uh, the first one is called Efflores. Second one is Everyone Into Position. Third one is called Frames. And the last one was called Self-Preserved While the Bodies Float Up. And I actually wasn't really a huge fan of that last album, but you know, it's pretty good. I would start at the beginning if you want my recommendation. Just just download FLRS first, and if you like it, go from there. Cause uh, that's what my friend Carl and I did when we discovered them. We we used to do this thing called the 30 second test when we'd get albums uh, that we didn't really know who they were, and we'd throw it on. And if the songs didn't catch our uh, catch our attention within 30 seconds, we skipped the track. And if five, we didn't get through five songs without one catching our attention, then it was no good. And Ocean Size, when we threw this on, man, like from the first second, it caught our attention and we never looked back. One of my favorite bands, so go check them out, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I know this, uh, this video wasn't too beefy, but I uh, hope you had a happy Christmas. My name is Grizzno. Thank you once again, and I'll see you all soon. Later.